Hello and welcome back to my tutorial training on how to sell your products at JVZoo, Warrior Plus, Clickbank. Today is part 5.1. I'm going to show you how to set up your thank you page or it's also called your customer access page or customer download page. So here's what it looks like. So after your customer buys your product, they will be redirected to your thank you page right here. Thank you for your purchase and then they will be able to download your products just like this and this is a nice template to follow and I included the sales page and this particular thank you page template for you guys to edit the link is down below it's free and the product is from IDPOR you can also sign up and download the package if you want I actually recommend doing that because it gives you a nice POR template to follow. So here's the ebook. So you can use this as a template to create your own product. So to publish this ebook, to make it more presentable and downloadable, you can go to file here and then click on save as here and browse to your folder that you want to save to. And then here in save as type, go to PDF so you're gonna be saving it as a PDF and then you call whatever you want ebook.pdf and then click save and the PDF version is the universal ebook version for pretty much every guides or ebooks selling at JVZoo or Warrior Plus or Clickbank and people can access this on their mobile phone or pretty much any device it's a friendly file type compared with the doc from a word document so anyhow you would need an ebook or video or plugin or whatever you're trying to sell that's the front end and then you would need I recommend also having an upsell so it could be an ebook or a, f a video or whatever software whatever you want to upsell so you get the idea it's about upselling your customers so once they buy your main product you can make uh, even more money by having an upsell okay anyhow so you have your upsell and your front end so right now let's copy the two PDF files here navigate to your sales page folder and then paste it here so I like to keep everything together once you're inside of your composer editor load up your thank you page open the file so as you can see it looks just like the thank you page here the formatting is a little bit different but once you save it it'll look okay when you load it up in your browser so with this template here make sure you edit and change to your product name your email for customer support and then make sure you change out your images so again click on the image and then click up here insert new image browse to your image just like this click on it open and then uh, alternative text you need something here type in whatever book and then you want to resize it just a little bit so it looks okay so let's do a little bit more okay now let's save it you can go to file save or control s just like word documents and now if we refresh the page from our browser you can see here it's replaced and now let's go back to the thank you page from composer and click here to download so click this button right here if you double click it it'll come up with this uh, this box here image properties and then you go to link and then you can click here to open a file and down here go to all files you will see your ebook click open and now when you click on this download it'll go to your ebook file and this could be any other link too if you hosted your uh, files somewhere else and I'll show you guys how to do that later in my advanced 
tutorial tips and tricks. But for now, that's, that's how you do it. You link to your ebook file just like that. And make sure you have alternative text, okay. Now let's save it. And if we refresh the page, you can refresh from up here or F5. Now we click here, it'll load up the ebook from the browser or if the browser is not supported with the PDF, it will be automatically downloaded to the customer's computer or whatever device they're using. So you would do that for each one of these. If you have other files you want to include in your front end product, if not, you can delete the extra files just like that. Just click on that backspace or delete or you can drag and highlight everything to here, delete. So we save, control S and refresh. You can see I only have one product here and I also need to delete this right here, but we'll do that later. And down here is a nice exclusive special offer. You can add either an affiliate product or another upsell or link to another product or service whatever you want that's up to you so uh, this is pretty nice to have because right now your customer is in his or her buying mode so they just bet some money and if they see something else they like they're gonna probably want to spend some more money so that's how it works with these offers on the thank you page so I always have additional offers on my thank you page as well and let's go back to Composer. Let's delete this extra box here. And again, it works like Word document. So let's try to replace this with my upsell. Let's pretend that's my upsell. Again, alternative text doesn't really matter. Just type whatever you want. You can also click on the picture and click on the link button up here and link it to uh, another URL or another page if you want so that's how it works and then make sure you change out the name your name up down there and uh, down here you can you don't really need this part anymore since it's already in your front end sales page and make sure again enter in your email here Okay, let's save this. And once you're, you have your front end, so this, let's say this is the front end product, to make an upsell thank you page for people that have bought your upsell, you can create another page. So if I do, I want to use this same exact uh, page right here. So go to file, save as, and then rename this to something else like upsell, so thank you, upsell, click save. So right now this is my upsell file. You can see up here, the file name is now thank you upsell. So you want to make sure you differentiate this thank you page from your normal thank you page. So that way your customer know that they bought the upsell, whatever it's called, advanced training guide to affiliate marketing, to SEO, to Instagram, whatever. And then here you would just like that. And then make sure you include your upsell product cover, whatever it is, either ebooks, videos, and you can click OK. And now let's resize this a little bit. Rename that. Click here to download. Now, now you want to make sure, so click on the button here and go to link and make sure you navigate to your upsell file. So here, make sure you select all files to show all files instead of just HTML only. And navigate to the upsell uh, book or whatever video software, whatever you're trying to sell, upsell, click OK. So now this link is to the upsell instead of the normal front end. And down here you can either have a different product or leave it uh, the exclusive special offer, whatever you want, or remove it, it's up to you. 
And down here is all the same. Make sure you add your name. Now let's do file save and refresh. Oh yeah, we need to, so you have to click on the new thank you upsell here. So if you click on this, it'll load up in your browser. So there is our new image for the upsell. Thank you for purchasing the advanced training guide. And now this link is to the upsell instead of the front end product. Everything else we left alone. Okay, so that's how it works, setting up your thank you page. I hope that wasn't too difficult to uh, follow along. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments. And now in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create an upsell sales page. So it's pretty easy, it's the same thing as a sales page. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel, How to Webmaster. Thanks so much for viewing, and until next time, happy marketing.